you know, one of the things that I'm seeing a lot of is people, you know, and I mean, this has been going on a minute now. The advent of social media is such a interesting thing and it's an evolutionary thing and revolutionary, I might add. However, with great freedom comes great responsibility. And I have said this for years. If you abuse a freedom, if you abuse your freedom, your freedom is either going to be taken away from you or that freedom is going to turn against you. As in, say someone, okay, we have the freedom to choose. Okay, let's say that. We've got the freedom of choice here. So I dr start drinking and I drank myself silly and I become an alcoholic. That's my choice. That's my free will. I've done become an alcoholic because of my free will. So yeah, no, I'm not in prison for it. No, I'm not in hell for it or any other thing you want to come up with to add as a consequence. But the consequence is, hey, no, I have actually hurt myself by abusing my freedom. You get it? So you abuse your freedom. You're going to get hurt one way or the other. You're going to have a consequence for abusing that freedom. The thing about social media is, and we saw it with our last president, you abuse your freedom and you lose your privileges. You lose the ability to do the things you'd like to do because you abuse it. And let's just get back down to morality. I, I like what Bernie Sanders said. I think he said something on Stephen Colbert the other night about, you know, we need to we need, we, we, it, I don't know how he said it, but it was kind of like basically saying, hey, we need kind of a moral awakening in a sense. We need to check our morality. We need a refresher, a refresher on morality and morals and doing the right thing, being a little kinder, treating everybody a little bit better because the way we treat each other and everything is absurd. And what got me on this was a comment that I read about one of my videos and it was just so harsh and the person didn't see anything wrong with this they felt like they were in the right and i'm like all because you have an opinion all because you feel like it's 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 okay to bash someone else's work or to critique or criticize or whatever and i mean let's go back to what happened with Princess Diana? Here's another example. You've got the freedom of the press. Okay, you've got the freedom for photographers to take pictures. Okay, I understand that. But here's the thing. Once you start doing the things that, that the paparazzi was doing with her and then actually causing a death to take place as a result, you got a problem. That's a problem. But nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to actually deal with that and actually address the fact that freedom being abused is a thing. So... Abuse of freedom. What are we going to do about this? And I, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent just a little bit, but let me go back for a second to the whole thing about uh, social media. OK, we've we've become too loose lipped. OK, we've become too loose lipped. We think we can say whatever we want, do whatever we want. It ain't no big deal. No, it is a problem. It's not right. We should do better. We should treat each other better. We should treat each other with kindness. One, that stuff comes back around, okay? You do not want that coming back around on you because here's the thing. You don't want to be at the bottom of somebody's shoe. Nobody wants to be at the bottom of somebody's shoe. So don't, and then here, uh, here's the other thing. And then we act like, or people act like, oh, because I'm behind a computer screen or behind a phone or whatever, or a screen name, that I can just say whatever I want and it's okay. No, you cannot, okay? Your freedom will get removed, OK, if you think this, it's just like the 1920s. Everybody thought everything was going great. It was just fun times. The 1920s was fun times and 1929 happened hit. It, 1929, that crash hit and killed everything. It screwed up everything. And I mean, I, like if you really look at it, you need to go look at 1929. Between 1929 and 1933, when FDR got into office, go look at those years and see what you see. Because I'm telling you, history repeats itself because we keep acting stupid, okay? We keep acting stupid. We don't tend to learn from the lessons of our ancestors and the lessons from the past, which we need to, okay? So let me, let me explain real quick 
that freedom <laughs> that everybody had in the 1920s uh, i mean everything's going good everybody's living high everything's going great uh no and it hit rock bottom because the freedom got taken away because it got abused because everything just fell to pieces we got too arrogant we got too cocky as a country listen we're in that state now I mean, let's let's look, you know, President Biden talking about, uh, OK, let's restore American pride. OK, that's great. But how about American decency? If we restore American decency, then we can restore American pride, because right now the way we act as a whole, there is nothing to be prideful about. The way this country acts as a whole is trashy. It's unclassy and just not cool. Like, there's so much we could do better. There's so much we could do better. And I'm sure I'm going to get criticized for that. And maybe that's some harsh language. But look, you know it and I know it, okay? We need to exercise a little bit more kindness. Treat your brothers a little bit better. Just be a little kinder. It ain't even about being a Christian. I mean, if anything, they, shoot, don't even get me started on Christians right now. I am one, but don't let me get started on the church, okay? I will go. So look, treat each other a little bit better. Leave better comments for people. Uplift people. Don't knock people down all the time, man. It, it's not right. And it, it's not right to do that. It's it's damaging to other people. On top of that, you know, don't do that. So, and I'm not just saying this about me and this little comment that got left on a video. I'm saying this period. We got to do better as a society, folks. Come on. We're better than this. We're supposed to be the smartest species on the freaking planet. And right now we're, I'm sorry, some animals probably got us beat. Some of the insects probably got us beat at this point because we suck. We suck. We suck at how we treat each other. We, seek, we suck at how we deal with business. We suck at how we deal with our finances. And that's not a, that's not a push down or a kick down on American society. It's just simply saying we've got a lot of work to do, folks. We got a lot of repairing to do, a lot of healing to do. And we need to get on it now. Because guess what? Our generation right here and then the generation behind us, look, folks, the generation behind us, they're learning their news on TikTok. Come on. TikTok is the most unreliable thing on the internet, probably. And that's what people are learning from. You get it? That's a problem. That's where we're at. We're disillusioned as a society. So it's time. We've got to we gotta step up our game a little bit. We've got to do a little bit better. So I just encourage you to exercise a little bit of kindness. Exercise a little bit of love exercise some patience okay ground yourself in something for god's sake ground yourself in something you know the whole thing about christianity i'll never forget what sammy davis said you know he said you got to believe in something so he became a jew i'm like all right dude cool um do you um but at some point you got to ground yourself in something and that's the idea that's why people do have if you look at it from a secular point of view, that is why there is some type of religion, typically, that a lot of people cling to somewhere because they need something to ground themselves. Um, it, we, we just got to do better, folks. Come on. I know I'm rambling all over the place, but we, we really got to do better. It's not right. And it's it's we're we're falling apart. And, you know, I I'm a predictor that one day probably in my lifetime we'll have another civil war because i saw something was it last year or the year before that i've never seen before i saw people take the capital okay i saw pictures of the capital of the united states being attacked not just from the outside these people came into the white house i mean the uh capital they came into the capital and trashed it. You you can't tell me there's something not wrong here. There's something massively wrong in our country. The fact that any other time, if it was a protest or any other thing, these people would have been shot down, and you know it. 
but then <laughs> you attack one of the greatest places uh one of the biggest pieces of our democracy and nothing happens except for a few a few poor a poor uh, what is it uh paul blart security guards trying to trying to beat him away really like come on folks it's the capital so if what about the president how safe is he i mean come on and this is crazy like we we just got a lot of work to do man and we got a lot of evaluating to do with our country a lot of evaluating to do it's it's just not right i know my grandfather and other veterans that i know that if they were alive right now they would be absolutely devastated to see what's happened to this country absolutely devastated so anyway practice a little kindness practice a little love practice a little patience be kind to your brothers and sisters please thank you